good evening students today in this video i prefer to tell you about the new topic the topic in which we will have to discuss about the sides of a triangle and when we discuss about the side, sides of a triangle more specifically a right angle triangle then we will talk about the another branch of mathematics that is called trigonometry i will analyze this particular word it has taken from the greek word that means tri gono metri tri means three gono means sides and metri means to measure so the branch of mathematics in which we discuss about the measurement of the three sides of a triangle more specifically i say about the right angle triangle we call as a trigonometry so today we will discuss every question on the basis of this right angle triangle and now i would like to discuss about the right angle triangle how to recognize the base the perpendicular and the hypotenuse as you are well aware of that the suppose abc is a right angle triangle right angle at b then what is the largest side ac and hence it is called hypotenuse this is denoted as h now in a right angle triangle there are two acute angle suppose i consider this acute angle theta let angle c is equal to theta which is your acute so the side opposite to the considered angle is called perpendicular and so this is what we call it as small p so you have recognized two sides the largest side is h the side opposite to the consider angle is your p perpendicular and the third side is your base that is your b and the trigonometric ratio will be affecting these particular three sides means in trigonometric ratio we have six trigonometric ratio what are the ratios sin theta trigonometric ratio first is sin theta then is cos theta then is tan theta and is this trigonometric ratio has its converse also the converse of tan is cot theta the converse of cos is sec theta and the converse of sin is cosec theta now the question is here how shall we find out these ratios so when you are asked to find out the trigonometric ratio sin means it is a relation between the perpendicular and hypotenuse so perpendicular by hypotenuse that means p by h and cos means base by hypotenuse that means b by h and tan means perpendicular by base that is p by b and now what is the reciprocal of tan is cot so you can take base by perpendicular that is b by p then 
reciprocal of cos is sec so what is that hypotenuse by base that is h by b and the reciprocal of sin is cosec it will be hypotenuse by perpendicular this is h by b if suppose in your practicing suppose in during the exams period you forget what would be the ratio so i am giving you a very small trick a group of words if you remember you can easily understand this particular ratio and what is that group of ratio this is a way to uh, arrange the group of words what is that pandit badri prashad hari hari bol now if you arrange this you have noticed here it is called p by h that means it will give you sin theta it will be b by h it will give you cos theta and p by b it will give you tan theta and if you know sin theta is p by b cos theta is b by h tan theta is b by p you can also know it's a reciprocal now here i would like to give you a very small formula what is that which is very useful and in the next topic you will study about the uh, identities in that uh, cases i will tell you the uh, identities all more identities i will tell you about the trigonometric identities and now here what is the formula i would like to tell you tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta and cot theta is equal to cos by sin theta this is some of the very useful formula which you have to learn now i will discuss about the two questions which are based on it now one more thing i would like to suggest you whenever you are going to find out the ratio suppose you are given sin theta is equal to 3 by 4 suppose you know very well sin theta is equal to p by h is equal to 3 by 4 so you should not take p is equal to 3 h is equal to 4 i will just take give you an example suppose you have a and b two student the age of a is say 5 years and age of B is say ten years. When you find out the ratio, what will you find? One by two. Can you say that A is one year and B is two years? No. 